Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Lumbar triangles and we are looking at the hernias. So first, let's understand it with a diagram. So this will be the 11th rib, 12th rib. So the superior lumbar triangle will be roughly here and the muscle which is surrounding this internal oblique next on the other side quadratus lumborum and next This is the erector spinae. So these are some important muscles surrounding the superior lumbar triangle. So this is the superior lumbar triangle. On the other hand, let's look at the inferior lumbar triangle. So this is the LD that is a latissimus dorsi and on the other hand below there is external oblique then comes the iliac crest below and this space is nothing but the inferior lumbar triangle so it is this space inferior lumbar triangle now let's go into the theory so in terms of this lumbar triangle and the hernias the acquired will be higher so acquired is greater than that of the congenital. Secondly, the left side is greater than the right side. Now let's look at the superior lumbar triangle. So superior lumbar triangle. So superior lumbar triangle is nothing but the Grindfeld triangle. So Grindfeld triangle. So this is bounded by there is a 12th rib there is 12th rib the paraspinal muscles para spinous muscles as well as the internal oblique muscles Next, we look at the inferior type. So in terms of the inferior variety, inferior lumbar triangle, inferior lumbar triangle. So this is nothing but the petite triangle, the petite triangle. And this is bounded by the iliac crest. And the latissimus dorsi muscle. As well as the external oblique. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe. Thank you.